Hello there, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. Um, I'm in my favourite uh, Weatherspoons pub. It's a lovely sunny uh, winter's morning in December, close to Christmas. Um, the pub is uh, the Plough and Harrow. I'm about to read you um, my latest poem, uh, I Never Loved the Stranger, which is actually a poem about my father and my memories of my father, who has been dead uh, some years now. <coughs> I never loved the stranger. I knew very little of him, but remember he once told me that a lone lamb made easy prey, meaning that to walk alone in life, be my own man, I must avoid the pack, find within me courage, he laughed, I remember, almost to himself, always adding, as far as he was concerned, the best template for courage was the threat of a firing squad at your back, referring to the war. And he always said, never to show a man the knife with which you intend to kill him. I didn't understand then, but I do now. We seldom interacted, except occasionally on a weekend. It would be a Sunday, but we rarely spoke. I do remember, though, like yesterday, the stench of what seemed like old engine oil underneath a lavish splashing of old spice that he seemed to wear permanently, his stale perfume. And his hands, they were covered in fine, deep cuts, always fresh, made reference to at every opportunity, and worn like medals, proof that he was never a malingerer, very important. I can hear him now, as long as I've got these, we'll never starve, meaning his hands, and we never did. He once told me, Better to have loved once than to have never loved at all. I didn't understand him then, but I do now, as I recollect the years he spent alone in his separate bedroom, having only ever loved one woman, my mother, whose cold heart had cut him down in his prime with all the callous savagery of a lone fox. He died a pauper, his spirit ground down by the mighty hand, the millstone that was the drudgery of work. But I can hear him now saying, Never go down the pits, boy. Don't dirty your hands like me. Use this, pointing to his head. There are far too many fools tempted by an extra penny an hour, too weak now to draw breath, yet alone raise a pint. He was giving me advice. I didn't know it then, but I do now. The advice he gained from the mistakes he'd made or listening to other men. He was passing down the knowledge down from father to son, and like so many other young upstarts, I never listened. He's dead now. Long gone and almost forgotten. I knew little of him, but now I understand most of what he told me, and I realize it was always with my best interests at heart. Sadly, I also realize that his eyes had loved a hundred times, but his heart loved only once. Dedicated to my father.